Aren't we all fed up of the long list of side effects that follows at the end of a drug commercial? Not only because it is annoying, but also because it is unavoidable. There is always a trade-off. In order to treat a disease, you always have to deal with a lot of side effects. And this is why my research is based on an alternative approach of electroceuticals, which is very different than pharmaceuticals. Pharma drugs go through four stages. Ingestion, absorption, circulation through the bloodstream, and targeted release at the specific area. The problem with this approach, though, is that it is less specific and hence calls for a higher drug dose. It is slower and, of course, has a lot of side effects associated with it. Electroceutical approach, on the other hand, uses the nervous system to target to the specific area instead of the bloodstream. Brain controls all our bodily functions via nerves through an electrical signal. By tapping into these individual nerve fibers, we can understand what the brain is trying to communicate with the specific body part and modify it according to our needs. The advantage of electroceutical approach is that it is highly specific. It is faster and of course is associated with, with virtually no side effects. Any sort of electroceutical device can coax uh, insulin out of the cells to treat diabetes or it can affect the smooth muscle to treat high blood pressure. We are all familiar with the devices such as pacemakers that are used to regulate the heartbeat and also deep brain stimulation techniques that are used to treat various neurological symptoms. The problem with these devices though is that it targets a larger area of tissue at random which muddies the clinical effect. This is why an ideal electroceutical device should tap into the individual nerve fibers to understand the precise effect of electrical stimulation. A typical electroceutical device contains tiny electrodes. In my research, I design, fabricate, and also test the size, shape, and the function of these electrodes. Uh, the function can be tested via, um, by recording the signal by these electrodes, understanding what signal is being communicated, and then correcting the signal. The ideal electroceutical device that we envision would be the size of a grain of a rice and would speak our body's electrical language. The FDA has already approved two such devices to treat obesity and sleep apnea. Big names like DARPA and GlaxoSmithKline have invested huge amounts of money in electroceutical re related research. And then I hope that my research will bring us all one step closer to live in the world with no side effects. Thank you.